This is your Weather Extreme video for Sunday, November the 29th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters, and it looks like for the most part, we're going to have one more dry day, but let's get to our Skycam images this morning. How about a beautiful sunrise over Dauphin Island? Isn't that just gorgeous down there? Oh, man, wouldn't I like to be there? Or perhaps there, a nice Gulf theme this morning as we look off to the west over the Gulf of Mexico from the Gulf Shores camera. Or sticking with a the water theme anyway, how about the Alabama River as we look out over Selma? We can see some of those high and mid clouds that will be affecting Alabama today. All right, the surface map this morning uh, shows the uh, high pressure system that was over the southeastern U.S. has migrated eastward and is now out over the southwest Atlantic. And we're developing a storm system off to our west, and we should see that front move through here uh, on Monday, bringing us some rain overnight tonight and into uh, the early hours of Monday morning. In the upper atmosphere, we have a little short wave that's been moving through, but we got two features we're watching. One is the... Uh, uh, short wave trough moving across the north central United States, and the other is the closed low out over uh, Baja, California out there. And uh, those two features will be affecting us. The first one, the short wave over the north central U.S., will be moving by quickly. That will drag the front through and bring us some rain overnight tonight and into Monday. And then the closed low coming out will bring us some rain uh, on Wednesday. Now, temperature-wise across the country, it is rather chilly in the north-central part of the United States and the northern Rockies, uh, very mild across Texas, and we're going to stay mild across the southeastern U.S. Uh, across central Alabama, the lows this morning generally dancing around the 40-degree mark. A little bit warmer than we've seen as we have a fairly nice southerly flow. Not much uh, in the way of echoes on radar, but we see a few, and we're certainly due for some rain. Uh, we've had a number of days of no rain, and it looks like over the next five days that we're going to see as much as uh, five to six inches along the Gulf Coast. Across north-central Alabama, it looks like the uh, range will be all the way from uh, oh around one inch in the Tennessee River Valley uh, to around... Uh, as much as maybe three or four inches in the vicinity of Montgomery. So uh, could be some flood issues or flash flood issues. No uh, organized severe weather predicted by the Storm Prediction Center. However, on day four, and I believe that that is uh, the 2nd of December, uh, possibility of severe weather across part of the southeastern U.S., including the Florida Peninsula. And as we uh, get to the next to the last day of the 2009 hurricane season, nothing is being watched. All right, here's the 06E GFS model run. And uh, the surface high is off to our east, and that is bringing southerly flow our way. And we're seeing uh, a little bit of uh, rain off to the west and northwest, but again, not very much pretty spotty. The uh, north-central U.S. trough comes through very quickly tomorrow, and that should, should drag the front through our area and bring us rain primarily uh, after midnight tonight and through about noon tomorrow primarily, but uh, I think we'll be cloudy for much of the day. On uh, Tuesday, that uh, shortwave trough zips through very, very quickly. And in the meantime, the closed low over Baja, California begins to eject. And that means for Tuesday, we should have a primarily dry day, although we may see some clouds. But I think we'll see some sun also. The closed low ejects out uh, as another uh, trough comes in from uh, central Canada, and that trough uh, will phase with that closed low, and that will bring a surface low out of the northwest gulf, and that's going to be a rather wet system. So look for a rather wet day on Wednesday. That'll be our primary rain day. The trough sets up in the eastern part of the United States, but the surface low exit very quickly. But with that deep trough, notice the 540 line down to about Birmingham, on Thursday, so it's going to be turning much, much colder. And we the, the cold air sticks around on Friday as the 540 line is now down uh, in the vicinity or just south of Montgomery, uh, so a bit cooler to the end of the week. And then uh, on Saturday, uh, we're kind of in a bit of a zonal flow temporarily, and that will keep us dry with a large surface high centered over South Carolina. But by uh, Sunday, 
the next system and the, the whole weather pattern remains rather progressive. The next system comes our way out of the southwestern U.S. and that should help set the stage. It'll be dry, I think, in central Alabama on Sunday, but that should set the stage for another surface low coming our way and perhaps a wet Monday, November, or pardon me, December. Uh, the seventh. Gosh, where did 2009 go? All right, how about out into voodoo land? And it looks like the eastern uh, part of the United States remains under a trough with some little impulses moving through it. Uh, so we could have another wet day around uh, the 10th or so. And then uh, the pattern uh, stays pretty uh, active with another strong trough coming out of the, the uh, southern Rockies, but a bit of a ridge around the 14th. So it looks, looks like, uh, you know, a pretty typical pattern of some uh, wet day, a wet day or two, and then uh, some a couple, three dry days, and uh, nothing extreme in the way of temperatures. So not, not too bad for the forecast. Well, we appreciate you tuning in to the Weather Extreme video. I think James Spann will be back to his two-a-day tomorrow, so uh, look for the next one around 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. In the meantime, I hope that you have a great Sunday and Godspeed. Each day there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faces that I see All of the places close to Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.